Hello, and welcome to another Species Spotlight. As winter approaches, a very common plant genus always pops into my mind when thinking of plants in the winter, the hollies. The holly genus is made up of over 400 species of flowering trees and shrubs, and throughout the county parks, you may find two species in particular, the American holly tree and winterberry. The American holly is an evergreen tree, meaning the foliage remains green throughout the entire year. The tree's leaves are dark green with a leathery texture and sharply tipped edges. American holly trees can be found growing throughout the eastern and central United States, ranging from Massachusetts to Florida and even eastern Texas. These trees tend to grow slow, but can reach heights of 50 to 60 feet and live around 200 years. American hollies like to grow in moist soils and are normally found as an understory tree. The bark is smooth and gray with raised bumps called lenticels, which are actually pores that allow gas exchange between the environment and the tree's internal tissue. American hollies are dioecious, meaning separate trees are male and female. Only the female trees will produce berries in the wild. These berries are a favorite for birds and mammals in the wild, yet are actually poisonous to humans. The American holly has become so popular as an ornamental tree to plant that there are more than a thousand different cultivars in North America. Winterberry is a deciduous shrub that can grow anywhere from 5 to 15 feet tall throughout the eastern United States. Winterberry shrubs have smooth grayish bark with visible lenticels like the American holly. The leaves are simple and double toothed, but unlike the American holly tree, winterberries drop their leaves in the fall. What makes winterberry so unique is how the bright red berries form rounded clusters along the length of the stems. The fruits of this shrub start to mature in the late summer season, but usually hang on and act as a food source for many different animals throughout the winter. Some animals that may be attracted to winterberry's fruit include birds like robins, eastern bluebirds, cedar waxwings, and mockingbirds, while white-tailed deer and cottontail rabbits sometimes graze on the shrub's woody brows. If you are interested in finding these species out in the parks, look in areas that are close to the Rancocas Creek. Winterberry is prominent along the Red Trail at Smithville Park, as well as the Green Trail before the floating walkway. And when visiting Longbridge, head on the Orange Trail to walk right through a small American holly grove. Thanks for watching!